Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And today I have this Amazon package. Let's see what's inside. And also it's a PNY SSD. And also this PNY SSD is a 256 gigabyte. And also be going in the iMac. As you're wondering why in the 2006 iMac that I showed off in my April Fool's video is because that's the only computer which I'm trying to buy a SSD for it. But let's just open this thing up. Alright, if you excuse me. Alright, here's the drive itself. It's a 2.5 inch SSD, so not one of those 3.5 gigabyte hard drives. What? The reason why I'm using this is because this hard drive died for the computer in January. Let's see what's inside here. Alright, that's it. Now let's install this to the iMac. Alright, after I removed the front bezel and the screen, you guys could actually see an iFixit guide, which I actually used to open this up. Well, I actually opened this up, like, a lot of time. I upgraded the RAM in August of 2021, and also I disconnected the power supply so I won't electrocute myself. Alright, here's our PNY SSD, and it's going in. Alright. Here's the power cable, and here's the data cable. Unless if you guys seen an SSD installation for a long time or a bunch of times. And also, let me just straighten this SSD up, even though it doesn't have any moving parts. And also, let me just close it apart. All right, I just closed it up the computer. And now time to plug it in. Here it is. Obviously there's nothing on the SSD because it's brand new. So no data was written right off the factory. Alright, let's install an operating system. And the operating system which I'll be choosing is Windows 8.1. Yeah, you guys are going to be screaming. I'll upgrade this copy of Windows 8.1 to Windows 10, so don't worry. Alright, I, I boot up from the Windows 8.1 DVD. Yes, it has to be a DVD because I can't boot off USB on this iMac. It's actually pretty weird and also I don't have any USB flash drives. Alright, product key, I'll be right back with it. Alright, just enter my product key. I'll accept the license and terms. Alright, custom. And then create a new partition. Alright, this is going to take some time. Sorry for the loud DVD drive. It always does that when I install Windows versions. Alright, it made the partition, now I'm ready to install. And I'll be right back after this long install. Alright guys, it's been 15 to 16 hours since I've shown you guys the Windows 8.1 install. But I ran into a few problems which lasted all the way through 9pm yesterday. That's the time I'm recording. Um, the SSD was having problems with the SATA cable. And uh, this morning I was able to install Mac OS 10 on a different partition using this USB flash drive. And then after that I installed Windows on another partition and installed the bootcamp drivers.
Also, I got a new keyboard for this. Well, my mom bought it for me. And now I'm upgrading the Windows 10. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And see you next time with this computer or the HP. Bye.